Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. Is this new save file? Yes, I've been just mi mixing up save files so much recently because obviously I've just been playing loads of different ones. Last we did Tainted Lost and it was so close but so far away. Oh, it's annoying. Um, I think this time we'll go as Mother Andromeda. Sounds good. Yeah, why not um, a Mother Andromeda run? It's been a little bit since we played as Cheeky Andromeda, so why not? Why not? He's a he's a fun lad, um, a good old spinny, spooky, spacey little freak, and I do enjoy him quite a bit. I've been really enjoying the uh, the idea of having three series ongoing at the moment. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I think it's, it's I think it's been pretty interesting. Uh, unfortunately, my ladder, you are very dead. Tears accelerate and decelerate. This is gonna be weird. Oh god. Um, is that good? I, I don't know. Ooh, forget me now on the first floor is pretty goddamn useful. Um, very nice to get ourselves an extra free item room. <laughs> yeah, this is this might be bad overall, actually. Uh, it's <laughs> The tears, they do hang around a lot longer, but it's very, very difficult to get them to actually hit what I want them to hit, to be honest. I don't know, once, once there's quite a lot in the air, it's actually not too bad. But getting a lot in the air is not particularly easy. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. This is a, a really strange worm trinket to get right off the bat as this character. I kind of like it. I don't know. It feels it feels like one that I, I shouldn't like as much as I do. I'm going to end up blowing these up, so I've got to be careful, yeah. It's really weird. It's very wacky. It just makes the tears, like, uber slow and hard to control, but... They kind of just hang out and we can walk them into enemies, which I feel is somewhat of a positive. It makes it a little easier to do high damage once we've sort of got everything rolling. It also means we've got like more protection around our person. Imagine this with shielded tears would be pretty goddamn good. I feel like that'd be something that I'd, I'd like to see. Now all of my tears are getting currently destroyed by uh, those fires. Little bit inconvenient. As for the question of the day today... What's, your, what's a recent purchase you made that you felt was fully worth the money? What's something you've bought that you've just been like, God damn, I'm so glad I bought that. Dude, that's a little unfair. These guys are very hard to dodge. You could have got out of my face a little bit there. Um, there's no soul heart in the shop either. That's kind of what I was hoping for there. But sadly, it is not there. It's kind of like being able to use gravity shift without using gravity shift. It's, 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 it's a strange old time. We've got going on here. For me, it's, de it's definitely got to be my PC. I spent an ungodly amount of money on this PC, but my god, every single day I am, I am, I reap the rewards of it. It feels just so good to be able to play literally any game I want on max settings with ray tracing, and it just runs at like hundreds of FPS every time. It's, it's just beautiful. Also, that's pretty beautiful too. Right, I don't know how easy this is going to end up being. We'll see. I can't imagine very. I'm going to try my best to, to hit the little guy as much as I can, but it's not really up to me with this trinket, let's be honest. It ain't really up to me. I, I might... I don't know. I, I kind of want to drop it, but also I feel like it's... It's so wacky, it just might work. I'm kind of thinking, like, I bet there's a few items out there that, like, go really, really well with this. There's a few that just make it feel amazing. You're almost dead, good sir. There you go. I'm going to quickly just do a little cheeky check around for um, a secret room before I use my forget-me-now. Feel like it's worth it in this scenario. Look at that guy's hemorrhaged his little hands. Come on, my guy. There you go. And then this guy is just going to produce more and more of these little friends until there's too many. Yep, I got hit. Then, god damn it! Right, key. Yeah, let's let's quickly do a little little secret little search for secret room. I think it's just next to us here. Yeah, oh uh, no, there's, there was a poop there. Maybe not. Maybe between the uh, item room and sacrifice room, um, which we have been into, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that seems that seems ab about appropriate, right? Although I was wrong. Um, I'm not going to use my other bomb. Let's be honest. Uh, let's just let's just pop this and get our free item room again and our boss item. Obviously, no devil deal if you use forget me now on this floor, but it's guaranteed free item room and an easy boss. So it's it's pretty good. Pretty much guaranteed to get hit by fire there. Yeah, I'm kind of imposing this this self restriction on me here with this uh, with this trinket. I feel like I feel like it's definitely hampering my abilities to uh, maneuver correctly and hit enemies. Now, I I've been told recently, and I, I I genuinely don't know if this is true, and I I'm I'll be baffled if it is. Apparently, red fires and purple fires and stuff can only ever shoot once. What does this do? Batteries give you a damage up for the current floor instead of an active item charge. That seems interesting. We'll take that. It seems right. This thing's not shooting me again. Wild that I never knew that. Ooh, damage plus speed. Yes, please. That's a pretty good bit of damage, too. Pretty good bit of damage, indeed. I like it. I like it a lot. Also, I downloaded a mod... Um, recently that uses the new Repentagon that is basically, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's basically fair XL floors. XL floors now have an additional shop on them as well as, um, being able to, like, stack with trinkets that also work with it, like ones that give plus secret rooms and stuff, being able to stack. But yeah, main thing is XL floors now have two shops, which is something that I've been wanting for a very, very, very long time. I think the fact that you lose out on a devil deal, uh, chance is punishment enough. You shouldn't have to get punished by having only one shot between the two floors. It's a real bummer when it happens. Oh, that's... That's maybe better. That's maybe better. Uh, we do have the little drum in there. I quite like the drum. Devil, I guess I'll just take for the boss. Make it quite easy. Yeah, having normal tears now is, is a lot better. I have been hit quite a lot, I will say. Thank God for getting as much health as I got, because as you can see... Not doing so hot on the not getting hit for an... Ooh, this is so worth it. I'm so glad I used my thing on this floor to get a cube of meat. Man. <clears throat> now this is something I want to see changed. Depression, just getting ball of bandages or cube of meat from those guys. Ugh. Feels like a slap in the face, doesn't it? Absolute slap in the face. Uh, secret room here, maybe? Let me just quickly check the validity of that. I'm gonna say yes, sir. Yes. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, oh, the, the trinket one's way away. I don't know what that is either. I'm not gonna spend a key on a car that I uh, have no idea what it is. <clears throat> Go to this big room here as well, just in case. Kind of regret doing this now. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. Who's left? Good, good. Judas's tongue? Mm, unfortunately, it doesn't work for us. Would be a real good item to grab if it did. Considering now uh, Devil Deal um, Soul Heart ones can be reduced to one, it should also affect Soul Heart. Just reduce the cost by one. Uh, right, we're going, we're going Mother this run. Don't know how well prepped we are for a mother run, let's be honest. Um, based on my HP loss currently, not well prepped at all, but we will take that risk. We will we will hope for the best. We will see what happens. So if I take this now, and then grab that. Plus 30 damage up, yeah, that's not bad. Doubles your current charge of active items held. Um, okay, that doesn't matter for us, unfortunately. Although it's good, it makes no difference to us. Can these guys shoot me over this? Yes, they can. Gotta be careful, because it is very plausible for them to hit me. And I've released them as well. I've unleashed them. I have been recently, so obviously I've been uh, doing a Skyrim playthrough on my channel. I hope people are enjoying the Skyrim playthrough. I'm thoroughly enjoying playing it. But I have also, in my own time, started replaying Baldur's Gate. Basically... Um, I started playing it when it very first came out, but I was on my old PC at that point, and it just, it didn't run very well on my old PC, and it was crashing a lot and stuff, and it was just not a very enjoyable experience, um, with it crashing, so I decided to just stop playing it once I got past the first act and wait until I got a new PC, and now I've started playing it again, but 
I have started playing it with mods, which may be ill-advised when I haven't actually beaten the game once yet, but I just love mods too much. Um, and so I've started playing with mods and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, Heartship, Balloon, yes. Oh, Lodestone also would have been very good. Lodestone also would have been very good. See if we can buy a Soul Heart, because we are hemorrhaging HP. Ooh. Baby. Electric Dice. I would very much like that. I very much like Electric Dice here. <clears throat> Don't have any more health of these geezers. <clears throat> so many charges and battery based things with no active item to, to benefit. Okay, let me just test something here. Yeah, I can gain HP via my balloon. I've got to survive three rooms and then get hit and I gain half a heart, which is pretty good. Pretty good, because it starts off grey, then it goes red, then it goes red-blue. Okay, we've got enough damage to hopefully kill this guy without getting hit, but these guys do scare me a bit. The wee little leeches. There's just so many of them, and they move at such high velocities when he's uh, doing his thing. You can stop jumping now, good sir. There you go. Latchkey, that's a soul heart. Lovely. Obviously, we'll be going angel deal here. Um, and we'll be just heading on straight down, I think. Heading on straight down. I have a Discord message. But Oh, God, I need to burp. I apologize for being gross. Bunch of red hearts about we ain't going to use. Ooh, one of these guys. I forget what these guys do if you don't kill them in time. There you go. Doesn't matter, we killed it in time. I swear it's like a time-based thing, that enemy. Although I don't fully remember. We do unfortunately have the curse that makes things into champions, so we're going to see a lot more champions on this floor, most likely. Such a great curse, in my opinion. Especially considering it does give you more drops. All right, we've got our mirror room here. Nice, nice. Okay, so our balloon's ready again, so we purposely take a hit here. And we got a soul heart. Oh, wait. That was stupid. I got hit by a champion. I took a full soul heart damage to get a soul heart back. That's not how that works at all, you goose. No point taking damage to a champion because we lose all the benefits we just tried to gain. I am stupid. Good, good. Unleashed all of this good stuff. I mean, there's two pills here. Health up pretty good. Walking the sunshine's fine. Didn't get electric dice in the last floor, unfortunately. Okay. You're a bit annoying, but not particularly hard to deal with. Just remember your spectral. Ooh, a nickel. Hello. See? Extra champions, extra drops. It's, it's very, very nice. We got a little ghosty in the pot there. Item rooms have been okay so far. Um, yeah, I'll take quince. Oh, that would have been so much better. It's okay. It's okay. That 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 item that, that was there then. Is my mouse on screen? Why is my mouse on screen? I've noticed since I installed Repentagon that my mouse has been showing up in game for some reason. I really apologize about that. That's been there the whole time. If anyone knows why that is with Repentagon, let me know. Not ideal. Oh! Milkshake, uh, adding in the other coins as a regular drop. Awesome. Yeah, just to, just to announce, uh, the Milkshake mod I've been showcasing recently is now fully released. It is now available to the public. Um, so, go on, get. Very, very good mod. It's It's got to be, in in recent memory, it's got to be one of the most polished mod releases that I've seen. Like, the, the all of the items are all fairly fitting. They're all really functional. They're all really enjoyable to use. Um, it's not over bloated with too much content. Uh, it's pretty succinct, and I, I've enjoyed all of the all of the content that I've seen in the mod thus far. So, I, I would say it's definitely one of the better uh, mod packs out there at the moment. So, as I said before, go on get, go on get. Yeah, I do quite like Quince as much as uh, 
losing the other item that makes all of our hearts into uh, soul hearts is good. Quince is a, a decent consolation prize. I did not expect you to do triple jumps there, my guy. Hope for a half soul heart, one of those, but sadly, it was not to be. Yeah, look at all these red hearts here. All of these red hearts would be soul hearts right now. If the game wasn't a goddamn goose. We're going to do the boss first to see if the boss is worth doing. Thingy. Uh, oh, I didn't even finish off going that way. I should have gone that way to the shop. I, I didn't realise. I thought that was the end of the uh, floor. My bad. Oh, my lord. Okay, this is why I built up the health like I did. Because I'm taking some very stupid damage at the moment. Very stupid indeed. That line attack, it goes a lot further than you think. Right, there you go. No angel deal thus far. Bit sad on that front. Luck is good though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to walk all the way back where I just came from now. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a, a, a gamble. I'm just going to go and do this now. Burden. Du -du 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 -du. Although I'm about to come back and there's a combat room actually thinking about it. But I'll come in here. This is a combat room, unfortunately. Pills? Pills galore at the minute. That would have really annoyed me if that had hit me then. Imagine if that hit me and I died coming out of that secret room. Oh, um, cash room even. That would have been tragic. <laughs> Good. And shop, what do you hold for us? Jumper cables is nice. Spindle's pretty good. I think I'll take spindles. Um, yeah, I guess I'll buy that as well. Jumper cables doesn't do much for us, but it's half decent. Right. Oh, wait. We, oh, dude, 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 dude. We've got Dark Bum for a short time. Let's utilize this as much as we can. Let's get some soul hearts here. Black hearts, even. Come on, my friend. That's a card. Come on now, you, you goober. Oh, wait. They, they run away from Dark Bomb now? I did not know that. Is that new? D dude. We've got you for such a limited amount of time. Why you gotta be a prick? Such a limited amount of time, and he decides to be the worst. Right, there's a heart in here. Can we get to this one beforehand? Not even one? Oh my god. Evil. Evil. This game can be very rude sometimes. It's also quite rude. What was that boss again? I don't remember. I don't remember it being overly hard. Was it just blub? Hey, I forgot that if the balloon ends up popping, you get an eternal heart. That's pretty nice. Which obviously for this character isn't actually very good. Unless it turns into one of those hearts we just got. Good. Hide some room. Lots of champions. Grab that. We'll do the boss again, why not? Bit of a gamble, but I like it. Do you want to die, big sir? There you go. Jumper cables give us a charge for nothing there, lovely. Oh, wait, no, it was you. Shit. It was a hard boss. Not, nah, not super hard. Oh, 
not a boss I'd hope to see. And he keeps doing the attack I really don't like as well. I find this one difficult. Just because it's got two faces, but there you go. And we get Blood Clot for it. Okay, that was well worth the cost of doing business. I'm happy. Right, one second. I've got a WhatsApp message. Well, messages all over the place. Okay, that's just my mum. <laughs> Not, not that I'm not going to reply to her. I just thought it might be something important like work. <laughs> oh, mouse, go away. Repentagon must have done something with uh, showing the mouse up like this. It never used to show up before. I don't know what's going on with it. Right, I guess I'll bring the hanged man with me just in case I need that later down the line. We've got our two bombs, but we've got nine bombs, actually. Check out... Nah, okay. We are ready to go. I love the way our knife piece and our balloon are rotating around us like this. It's cute. Cool. Let us go. Let us go. To the next flu. Excel, so they should have double shopping, actually. Ha! One of the red keys is there, that's funny. So we actually can, uh, we can do this room over and over if we just, ah, bugger. Yeah, I was hoping not to lose that heart there. I had a plan for it and everything, but this room is fucking horrible. I do not like the way that any of the enemies in this room work. It's okay, though. My goodness, calm down. I didn't know when he was going to blow up, so I was staying well enough away. Okay, there's both of our item rooms. Good. And we've got Celestial Crown, which is goddamn amazing for us. Oh my god, it's so good. And we got Lanky Mushroom, which is... Ow! Booker off you. Um... Oh, this is bullshit. How am I meant to get that key? Come on now. Lanky Mushroom. It's a tears down. I don't really want a tears down. I'm going to take this instead. Actually, to be fair, I could... Oh, I, did... I pressed the wrong thing there. I could do this and get two burn hearts. Yay. I should never do the Broken Planetariums. They're never worth it. So rarely are they actually useful. Celestial Crown, though. Very, very good. Basically, we're going to get a ton of different tier effects at our disposal now. One minute. I have, like, something under my nail, and it's really bothering me. There you go. I think I got it. So you can see we're getting ice shots, electric shots. Mainly ice and electric, actually. Just a soul heart is all I care about. And the colours change each room for the Celestial Crown, as you can see. So we're getting different tier effects every room on top of that. Good, good, we got this. Can't remember what other things those little head stone chests can drop. Those extra stone chests. I don't really remember. Not seen anything that requires flight yet, I don't think. Not that I've got him off the top of my head. Ooh, we got some brick destroying sulfuric acid tears there. Um not worth it. Be interesting to have brimstone for the room, but otherwise not really worth it. I'm fine, thanks. No thanks, I'm full, as as I would normally say. This is pretty beautiful. So, Celestial Crown has really amped up this run quite a lot. It's it's kind of the fruitcake of this character. It's, it's good on any character, but it's especially good on this character. Secret room's up there. Oh, wait, there's... Oh, this is an XL floor, so there's two secret rooms. That's amazing. I love that. Well, let me just stop. Wait for these tears. Yeah, since it's an XL floor now... 
We get two secret rooms as well, I love that. Bacana, unfortunately not great. Got the bombs back we used for this though. I like a return on my investment, definitely. That other secret room is right here. Okay, angel deal chances up high at the moment. Plenty of coins to work with, but nothing useful to buy. Health up, lovely. Right. Straight towards our boss and our second shop as well. Man, XL floors are actually, like, not that bad anymore. You lose your devil deal um, chance for that one floor, but otherwise, they're fine. Tell you what, I quite like this. Right, shop, please be good, because that other one was a bit abysmal. Little bit abysmal. I've got fear on these guys. Don't know if that's actually helpful or not. It seems pretty bad on the little worm dudes, to be honest. Ooh, this is much, much better. Um, I think... I think I'll take burger bombs, and then I'll pop this and see what we get. Hey, It was the same cost as the actual item, so didn't save any money there, but... <laughs> it was fun nonetheless to end up getting the item there. A bit of charm on you as well. Parasite shots in there. Beautiful. Got a token there too. I don't know what we'll use that for at the moment, but we'll find out. We got cursed eye twice in there. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Fucking double cursed eye in there. That's just evil. Curse Eye does stack now, though, so technically having two of them does do something for us. Not what I wanted, regardless. I would actually know it could give you two of the same item, but there you go. We can't always be so lucky. Extra bombs, why not? Ah, for God's sake. I stepped on the creep. And again, I stepped on the creep. This fight's really hard with fucking Cursed Eye, because I feel like I can't properly maneuver the way I want to. I don't like it. Can I, can I have my 60 seconds over now, please? Thank you. Let me go back to firing normally. Man, that was a pain. A real pain. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Seemed right at the time. Devil Disc is more like it. Not that we got a great Devil Disc there, but still. Okay, this guy's yellow. I don't know what the yellow version of him does, but I'm going to guess there's going to be some explosions. Now, that was my explosion, I think. Okay, there's definitely fire. We've seen that there's fire now. I find Clutch such a difficult boss. It's one of those bosses that he seems modded, even though he's not. Len... <sighs> Damn. It's just useless. Bit of a shame so far. I mean, Angel Deal, we're not getting a first Angel Deal until basically the second of this floor, which is kind of terrible. Like, overall, not quite delayed to get a first Angel Deal, and then, then for it to be, like, basically no use whatsoever. Ooh, we got the gift card here, though. That's, that's always nice. Check the secret room here, just in case. Beautiful. Right, so if we turn an item into the gift card thing, then we can uh, bring it to the secret room. 
Can't remember what exactly this guy does. Don't remember it being good though. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to waste some HP and go to the cash room, but probably ill-advised. Ooh, I've never seen her do that attack before, the little lunge, I don't think. That's new to me. As long as you're not moving towards me, I'm happy. And, dude, it's dropping one of these hearts every time. If you're dropping those hearts, I'm, I'm well up for it. So, okay, we can kill these little dudes. We don't need to use the red block to do it. It's easy enough. Where's the red block gone? It's there. I lost sight of it for a moment. And I was very worried. Those red blocks have caused me so much pain. When I first, like, started playing Repentance, goddamn, those things ruined me every single time I came to this floor. Okay, replenished that. We've only got three uh, keys at the minute, so I don't want to go to the dice door. Just yet, at least. Once it's like six keys, maybe I will, but until then, I'm not. I don't really think it's worth it. But yeah, this this heart is the regenerable heart. They're very, very good. They're meant to be rare, but we've had three of them this floor. This floor, this this run. It's kind of crazy. Ooh, we we did have a hanged man card. I think we maybe left that in the main room, or did we use it? I don't know, maybe we've either used it or left it in that main room over there. I don't remember which one. Shop is with us here. Please be good, shop. The clicker's kind of nice. Pokegur's also decently good. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of damage. Wow. I'm a bit confused there. I got hit twice, but I got, like, hit during my iframes, I'm pretty sure. So those whips go through iframes. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Oh, we got C-section in here for a little minute. Is C-section any good right now? Why does this guy not have a health bar? Did I break his health bar? Oh my god, I've taken so much damage. I don't know if this if C-section is actually helping, like, at all, you know. Confusing. Probably should have turned that into a gift card thing, but oh well. Another one of these hearts, just in a long line of these hearts, there's another one. C-section, do your thing, please. Right, grab that. Secret room item, what shall you be? What would we like? I don't actually know. I've not really put a lot of thought into it. I haven't put much thought into it at all. Still haven't seen that item room this floor either. That would be nice to find. No hangman in here. Must have left it on another floor. Uh, grants two soul hearts on use. Can be recharged. Okay, this is pretty good. Basically, in rooms, there's these new enemies that are sort of rare-ish. When we kill them, we charge up our active on use. It grants us two soul hearts. Generally, from what I've had it in the past, it's been basically unlimited HP. Good. Item Krum, what art thou? I do like the clicker. Just a there's a single enemy left sort of thing. You can just spam click and do 10% of your damage. 10% is actually a good amount as well. So you can click a lot more than you can shoot. A lot, lot more. It'll always uh, target the furthest enemy away from you, so sometimes it isn't worth using. Right. Um, yes. I like the idea of gaining herming after a certain amount of frames. I think with this character it's going to be 
pretty much permanent herming right? Apparently I've killed a bunch of these little lifeblood things already. Don't know when I did that, but I'll accept it. Right. I think we're out of this floor now. Not bad, not bad. Health isn't looking too bad. Not quite as good as when we entered the floor, but... Health is this floor. I'm never gonna... It's never gonna be perfect. I'm not good enough at the game for it to be perfect. There should, should hopefully be a good completion mark there. Who are we even playing as? Andromeda? Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, who are we playing as? But yeah, obviously the guy that has tears that circle around him. I'm just tired today. Like, I'm, I'm really tired today. Oh, there's that hanged man. Where, where the hell was it then? I left it in a room, maybe. Oh, dude, those hearts, like, don't have a... Don't have a, like, refractory period. They can just get double hit straight away, which I guess balances them a little bit, so... It's not completely stupid of an idea. Have them work that way. What's going on with this guy? Can't seem to kill him. Ooh, what the hell do you do? This is... This is new to me, little vent boy. Okay. <laughs> the fists punching him around. Well, we already had Spectral, so this is only gaining us Herming, but... Herming's not bad at all, is it? I don't mind a bit of Herming. We've already half-charged that active again. I've not even seen these little lifeblood enemies we're supposed to be killing, but... Apparently I've killed a few of them. Just some goddamn spiders. We only have to be mean to a guy. Oh, I forget how annoying these little pricks are. There's a black heart in here somewhere. Ah, it's on top of the rocks, I see. Cheeky. Cheeky to hide it from me like that. How many charges do we need for this active? Is it eight? Looks to be. Good old shop, can you please give us what we need? I mean, a soul heart is somewhat what we need, and humbling bundle's good. I'll take the water, because why not? It's an extra fire rate boost for the boss. It's not going to do a whole hell of a lot, but it's helpful. And like I said, our health is basically unlimited now, so... We can just roll for the rest of this run. I think maybe what's happening is I'm killing enemies, and the, um... The summons from... What's it called? What the hell's the item called? Quince. The summons from Quince are killing them straight away, these little lifeblood things. That's why I've got, like, so many kills of them, but I haven't actually seen any of them die yet. None there. Ah, I'm stuck in a loop of going the wrong way. There you go. Up to full HP with that item. Beautiful. Push along this way. But yeah, it's been really fun playing um, playing through Baldur's Gate 3 with mods on. I mean, that, that game's just really fun anyways, but the mods are adding a lot. I mean, ton, like, like the vast majority of the mods are just like quality of life stuff. But one mod that I'm really enjoying for anyone that has played Baldur's Gate and will know what I'm talking about is it just completely unlimits your party size. So you can just bring everyone with you. Um, and currently I'm bringing like, I've got like six people with me rather than the default, which is four. Um, I've got like, I think I've got Asterion, L Lazel, um, Shadowheart, um, Shad uh, Asterion, Lazel, Shadowheart, uh, Karlak, and Gale. I think that's all of them. Um, I've not brought Will with me because I'm a warlock and I don't need him. Um, but it's nice because they actually like have proper banter between each other and stuff, and they all they all interject on story points and stuff as if they. They are with a, like with you on a party of four. But I've also got a difficulty mod that raises the difficulty of the game to accommodate for having more people. It like boosts the HP of all enemies by a hundred percent, doubles all their HP. Because basically, there's a mode called Tactician's mode, which is like the the last difficulty that adds thirty percent HP. It boosts that to a hundred, and it also adds uh, stats to the enemies as well based on what level they are. It's really cool. Right. There it is. 
There we go. I don't know how useful it is having Snake, you, you know. Molten Slag here. Basically can't see anything, so can't really call it good. <laughs> but goddamn health galore right now. We are in a... What's, what's the opposite of a deficit? We're overrun with health. Completely overrun with HP right now, and I quite like that. Let's just do eight seconds ISTs tears for a place with controllable waterfall cyclones. Sounds interesting. Oh, it's this. Oh, it only does it for one room, though. I thought it meant eight seconds from when you started it, even if you went into multiple rooms. That's fine, though. Secret room I was not expecting to find here, and unfortunately wasn't anything impressive. You get a butt penny though. Beautiful. And another one of these hearts, goddamn. I've not actually seen an eternal heart so far, so maybe when you're playing characters with only soul hearts, all return all eternal hearts get replaced by these or something, because very much seems to be the case right now. Our active has charged like three times and we haven't used it. But What's the point in wasting soul hearts if we don't... Wasting charges if we don't need the soul hearts. Might as well have it ready when we need it, right? That free trial has expired. Damn. I was enjoying that free trial. There it is. Look, I've finally seen one of them. Not that it'll live for long. This heart will keep us going anyway because it only takes half heart damage. That's another thing that's really crazy about these hearts. They can't be destroyed in one hit, no matter what the floor you're on or what enemy hits you. Which makes them real strong. Basically, it's just like Holy Mantle as a heart. You gonna die, good sir? He was not even remotely interested in dying. Ooh, this could be good for a card for the boss. Or a bunch of pills. Eh. We, we've, we've taken pills, we're happy with where we are. I don't sick anymore. I ain't got nothing to prove. This, this has to I guess I said this has to be the right way to the boss. Luckily it was. To be fair, well having one of these hearts be really good with having like a good on hit effect. Oh, I lost it. Finally got a use for my active. Ow. Still get hit though. Hey, finally a good old tears up. We've kind of been waiting on one of those for a while now. Last floor of the run, baby. Bunch of pennies we don't need. I think we've got this in the bag. Especially if we can go in with a charge of our active ready. Which, we'll see. We'll see. I have a good amount of bombs as well for the bomb trick. I don't know what happened to my tears here, but it kind of went crazy. I might as well take this, because I might get something good in the boss fight. And that active does nothing for us now. We're not going to any future floors. I don't know what's going on with my tears right now. Do I have, like, lump of coal or something that's affecting them? I mean, I don't, but, like, it looks like I do. There you go, active's charged again. Like I said, if we can get one more charge on it for the end of the floor, that would be very good. We'll see how plausible that is though. Depends on how many enemies we kill really. That's the, that's the only thing that's going to increase the chances is more enemies killed. And not getting hit as well would be uh, a good start. Oh, there is apparently a thingy soul heart in here though. There you go. From our balloon. It'd be nice to have a balloon in a good place as well when we get to the boss. I was getting caught in something, but I don't know what. Good old Golden Heart. Again, not very useful for us, but... Maggots are good. They'll spawn these little buggers quite often, I reckon. Yeah, there you go, look. One, three of them killed so far. I doubt we're going to get another charge, to be honest, but... Yeah. <laughs> not when the room is literally right here. I'm not going to hang around to get another charge. Ah, really? Right before the boss... 
a lot of money though, thank you. Treasure disc. We shall see what it gives us. Tech point five's nice. Broken disc is also potentially interesting. Three of whatever this lily is. I, I actually don't know what that lily does. So don't know how valuable that is to us. Really, you're gonna do this attack? Oh my god, guy. That's annoying. Give it a rest with this attack, please. I like to try and kill him before I actually get the chance to use this attack, like once he put it out, but today's not the day for that, apparently. Oh, dude, we got a charge. No way we got a charge. Whatever, whatever that happened then with a the ball, it split up into so many enemies. So many maggots or whatever they were. But it gave us a charge. That's pretty brilliant. I like that. We should be pretty much good to go from now on then. Oh, we have It Hurts. I was wondering where we're getting tears up from. But It Hurts is doing it. Oh, we've got so many of our, uh, our familiars balled up in one corner up there. Unfortunately, they're not really... Of too much help, to be honest. Okay. Nice and easy. Just keep spam clicking so that we get the clicks on him with our bloody clicker. And we can actually fire properly at him. Pretty beautiful, though. Pretty swag run, I would say. I do apologise if the commentary has been a bit more dulcet than normal. A bit more uh, relaxed. Like I said, I, I, I ended up... I got like five hours of sleep last night. I'm a tired boy, but I wanted to get some Isaac in while I could. And try and get a nice little victory. You can tell I'm awake enough to play Isaac. Or is this just like... Is this just like second hand to me now? It's just like part of my... Part of my subconscious brain to be able to play Isaac nowadays. Beautiful stuff. Juno Unlocked. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.